Hey there! Today we're going to be talking about a pen from a brand that I have uh, reviewed before. And uh, it's the Papermate Reynolds, that's the brand, and the pen, I'm not sure. It doesn't have a name anywhere, it just says Extra Glide on the packaging. You see, Extra Glide, uh, so I thought I would just uh, call this pen the Extra Glide by Papermate Reynolds. Uh, it's very interesting packaging. It has all kinds of weird objects on it. Uh, I happen to be in a store with my beloved partner, and she decided to pick the most emasculating pen she could find, because there were a bunch of finishes, and what came out of this package was, in fact, this fountain pen. Yes, it's purple, and it has all kinds of unidentified and odd objects on it, but I'm going to cover it today. I'm going to tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'll do a writing sample. Alright, let's start at the very top of the cap. And here we have this, this, um, well, it's not really a finial, it's just this, this sort of lila uh, clip. Um, it's a see-through cap, as you can see, you see a bit of ink splattered on there. And then you have the barrel, and on the barrel, all kinds of things. Not only does it say paper made, but I see a cupcake. I see a teddy bear with one eye. I see lipstick. Uh, it says hello. I don't know why, but it's that's what it says. And that's what you get. Now, there are some interesting features to this pen. We can uncap it. Uh, first of all, there is a nib that actually doesn't look too terrible. And this reminds me a lot of the nib that I think was on the paper mate grippy I think that was that had a, a nib like this it has two hearts on it and at the bottom here there is a grippy material and that grippy material was actually referred to on the um, uh, the packaging it says the new paper mate comfort grip is underneath the pen when you hold the pen it rests on your middle finger as shown in the picture the grip was designed to help reduce calluses on the middle finger. So there we have it. Um, this is that that grippy material. It's a very rubbery like texture. And if you hold the pen uh, like this, then indeed your middle finger is what that thing rests on. Okay. Now as to filling it, uh, mechanisms, it came with two cartridges. Uh, I have put in a Caveco converter. As you can see, that fits very well. I have tried to eyedropper convert it, but it was blobbing ink uh, from this, the, 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 the seam where the section of the barrel meet. And I think that was because these are pretty wide threads, as you can see. So I'm afraid you cannot convert this to an eyedropper, even though the barrel is waterproof. Okay, what do I like about this pen? What do I not like about this pen? Well, it has a plastic clip, and the thing with plastic clips uh, is that they can snap off. Secondly, uh, it's a um, very short pen design. As you can see, uh, I, I can't even really hold it without the pen sliding into my hand, so you would have to post it, and the posting is not necessarily extremely secure. I have found that this can actually come off. It's a bit wobbly. Now, you can try to push it on, but it doesn't really stay on very well so you can do a half uh, push turn like that that often keeps it a bit better in place but even so it's not necessarily the the, the most securely posting uh, cap as you can see I'm just pushing it around a bit and that comes off so that's one issue um, the finish is very uh, different uh, it's not necessarily for me, but it is very girly, and I'm, I'm sure that there are people out there who, who would appreciate this, and there were other finishes too. So, here is what you get. Now, the, the thing is, I mean, you can even put in a little uh, aerometric type converter. There is a little bit of space, or maybe, I don't know, I don't, it will not hold a, many standard converters, I think. But there is some space to play around with. Now, what is the main attractive point of this pen? For me, it was that this pen cost, if I'm not mistaken, one euro and seventy-eight cents. Um, it's it's a very cheap pen. It is cheaply made. You can feel it's very plasticky, but it is what it is. It's an inexpensive pen, meant to be played around with. Clearly geared a bit towards children. Look at the size. Look at the shape. 
but it's a nice thing I like pens like this because they allow people to start a bit more easily into the hobby for example if you want to check whether a pen is for you a fountain pen is for you you can use this to start with now one thing I will say that I do like is the nib the nib really is very decent I don't find it scratchy like with the paper made Reynolds grippy it gives you smooth writing performance and at this price I think that's quite impressive so I think that is very very nice I think you need to see this pen in action but before I do that let's take a couple of measurements first of all these are my fancy new digital calipers sent to me by Bill Bill thanks a lot um, what makes these things so nice is that they have both an inches and millimeter scale so I can tell you uh, I can give you both measurements uh, fairly easily without having to convert it capped I have 119.1 millimeters and 4.69 inches uncapped and I'm going to take a posted measurement as well because it's so small uncapped I have 4.16 inches and that is 105.7 millimeters if we cap it as or sorry post it as securely as we can I have 129.1 millimeters and that is 5.08 inches section diameter at the narrowest point comes down to 0.43 of an inch that is 11.2 millimeters and at the widest point is a little hard to see because the section kind of seems into the um, is flush with the barrel I have 12.9 millimeters that's 0.50 one of an inch okay now as to the weight it's a plastic pen uh, it's very small and light so I don't expect a lot of weight no it chips in at four grams so that is really a low low weight um, and I think that is that was somewhat to be expected considering how how plasticky and small a pen it is okay so there you have it the Reynolds the paper mate Reynolds extra glide let's see what this does guys I hope this was useful and um, I'll gladly see you later bye bye alright here we go with the paper mate Reynolds extra glide the most lubricant resembling name in the history of fountain pens uh, this is a fine or medium nib I'm not really sure it doesn't really say anything about it and the ink is Gerbin L'Arme de Cassis okay let's do a bit of writing it's Clairefontaine paper And I noticed that my hand is already cramping up, and that has nothing to do with the nib. It's just that uh, I, it's so small, it's hard for me to, to grip this pen nicely. Although I do notice that this soft spot at the end is really quite nice to use. Okay, a bit of fast writing, see how well the feet keeps up. When filling it up, I noticed that the uh, the nib seemed to have a very well-adjusted slit. Nothing beats a well-adjusted slit. Um, so it's it's a very pleasant writer. It gives a good, even ink flow. I really like that. Uh, and as you can see here, it's not exactly the, the driest of nibs. So it gives a really nice, good flow. Which, to be honest, at a pen that cost me less than two euros, I find quite impressive. Okay. As to line variation, there isn't a whole lot. But you can squeeze out just a little bit. Alright, maybe some reverse writing for those of you who like to turn the pens around. Again, nice nib that flows well, so you definitely get a line that is somewhat thinner than under regular writing circumstances. Um, 
and that's pretty much all there's to it. So, the Reynolds Papermate uh, Extra Glide. Guys, I hope this was uh, at least an entertaining review of a inexpensive fountain pen. And uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye.